Hey, welcome to Side New with JW. This is Side New number 83, Home Sweet Home. So, as you can see behind me, uh, this is where the majority of my videos come from, my office, where I record them. And over the last, you know, 20 days, I've been on a little bit of a vacation slash trip back to California. So the videos were a lot different, backgrounds were a lot different. You know, uh, I kind of just used the opportunity, uh, opportune place to to do the videos, whether that was you know, at my mother-in-law's or my brother-in-law's, wherever, you know, Disneyland, all the different things. So, you know, a lot of the things happened over the last 20 days, a lot of different videos, a lot of different things came out, you know, a little bit more of a personal side of some of the videos, uh, still while aiming towards that decide and do mentality and really what, what drives me and what keeps me going and what I try to put out there as content for you, the, the everyday viewer. So, uh, I'll say honestly, it is it is great to be home. I am so excited to be home uh, because there's so many different things that I got to get done in the next couple of weeks that I am ready to literally start cracking at it. Uh, you know, so I'm starting you know tonight, uh, and and I'm trying not to die. When when I say die, I mean from the uh, jet lag. I stayed up you know the majority of today uh, to get back on schedule, back to the you know. The uh, Japanese time frame, uh, so I'm not, you know, waking up some crazy hours of the night, whatever, doing all that stuff. So uh, as soon as this video is done, I'm gonna do a few little things and then hit it. Uh, I'm gonna go to bed and be done with it this evening, and hope that I wake up in the morning ready, you know, refreshed and and ready to rock and roll. Because there's a lot of things I got to get done. So you know, home sweet home. You know, it's it's good to be home. But it, it, anybody that does any type of traveling. Uh, you know, especially for an extended period of time, you know, there's a, a ton of different things that we have to do. So we got home and right away, you know, there was like, I had to go check the cars, make sure the car still worked. The batteries didn't die on them. We had to go to the store. We had to get, you know, some stuff uh, just to kind of survive off of until we go grocery shopping. All the clothes, the laundry, all the different things. You know, I was trying to, you know, keep my son's mind off other things earlier. So, you know, trying to do certain things with him, play with him. And you know, then it's all right. Hey, now, now I'm in week seven. I'm in week seven of my last two classes for for my my degree, and I'm not behind. But being as proactive as I usually am, I'm usually a little bit further than where I am right now. So uh, I'm not behind on any assignments, things like that. But I, I got to start, you know, getting on it. And now, technically, it's kind of weird, you know, where you you leave. I left. We left L.A. on Monday. We got to Okinawa Tuesday, and we left Monday morning at 12:20 a.m. in the morning, and then we got to, uh, you know, Okinawa at like 11 in the afternoon on Tuesday. So, you know, you lose a whole day. So, I now on my schedule, I'm kind of, you know, now I'm, I'm missing another day that I would be working on. You know, stuff's due tomorrow automatically, right off the bat. So I got to get on those things. I got to get those things done. And then I'm prepping for this move coming up in, in about three weeks uh, for for my job, which is, you know, it's exciting and nerve wracking all at the same time. So a lot of things that I got to get done, a lot of stuff that I have to make sure that, you know, gets on to the next guy. And then at the same time, when I go over there, kind of get from the old guy. So, you know, there, there's a lot of moving parts that, that are going on over the next few weeks. And... You know, it, it's good to be home, and, and, I, and I will say that, and everyone knows, uh, you know, there's, there is no place like home uh, when, when it comes to kind of living outside of the environment that you're used to, and I'm glad to be back, but, you know, I think about when we go outside of the normal and we see all the different things that we, we see and we're, we're doing things out there, you know, it, it's sometimes easier and sometimes it's harder. And for me, I'm, I'm very structured and very, this is the routine that I have. Monday is this, Tuesday is this, Wednesday is this, you know, and I, we, me and my wife were joking earlier, we ate great while we were out there and I can tell because when I stepped on the scale today, I got some pounds that I got to go ahead and I got to get back to uh, the normal everyday working out that, I, that I'm used to, to keep, you know, up where I want to be. You know, I, I did one run while I was out there. Dear goodness, uh, you know, went big and should have kind of maybe done a few little bit, a uh, few smaller runs overall. But, you know, there's things that I have to get back into. There's things that I need to go ahead and get ready for 
uh, you know, to keep me where I where I'm supposed to be. So, you know, we get home and we get we get back. We're able to get back in the routines that we're we're in. Uh, and for you, if you, if you don't have a routine, figure out what it is and how you can accomplish the things that you need to accomplish. Uh, because I, I tell you, for me, being on that routine is very everything's more. You know, it just it comes so much easier to me. Because I know what I have to get done, and I leave time in there. Say I missed something, you know, uh, doing due to the travel. I missed some of the videos, so I planned out where I was going to do them. So, you know, yesterday's video technically came this morning when we were in Korea, and now that I'm back in Japan, this video, you know, back on track, back on schedule. Here, it's the nightly video that I'm that I'm going to be doing. Where when I was in California. You know, technically it was a nightly video, but it was in the morning in California. So, you know, all these things kind of now get back together. When you are thrown outside of the mix, you know, I talked about it. I got behind uh, a few of the days on there. I got off track, you know, holiday kind of coming up or was there. Everything that was going on, uh, you know, we, we understand that. And then today, you know, uh, I finally will say that at, by the end of the day, uh, much more calm, cool, and relaxed than I was earlier today. Now that I'm not on, you know, a 13-hour flight, fill, you know, right after or then waiting for another, you know, two to three-hour flight. So, uh, back home, ready to rock and roll, ready to get back to the things that you know I know I got to get done, and I know that are necessary for me to accomplish what it is that I need to accomplish and be successful in the way that you know I want to be successful. I uh, got home and, uh, you know, I posted on my regular Facebook page for my friends, uh, but, you know, got home and an article that I wrote over the uh, the last couple of months, I, I submitted to a magazine that, you know, a lot of my, my co-workers obviously know the magazine and, and some of my friends know, but uh, it was published. So, you know, kind of the things that, that help. Uh, I got those. Now I get to go in and I get to go hand some of those off to some of the individuals that kind of helped me overall. Uh, get that article accomplished, and we're kind of there for the uh, the course itself that I was able to go to, and then I wrote about it. And you know, there's there's things that are in there, and there's things that uh, I look at. For me, it's it's not necessarily about the article that I wrote; it's about that I wrote the article. And I know that sounds that you know a little bit weird, but I don't write. I'm not a writer, and what I mean by that is I'm not one of those ones that that's something that I really enjoy doing, and that's my passion. What it is to me is something that I was told I couldn't do, and I wanted to prove it not to them because I don't care. I don't care what other people think. I wanted to prove it to myself. Hey, am I able to do this? And I did it once, and it worked. And you know, it was it was a great process. Um, you know, you know, when I wrote my book, and then I, I wrote for this mag the same magazine that I wrote this last one for. And you know they published the article, and the article was was good, and I wanted to do it again, and I and I did. And these are the things that you know are that come to me when I'm in that routine that I am able to see what's going on and do that uh, overall. And I, I you know I, I say anybody out there, you can do anything that you actually want to do when you have that mindset to do it. And I wanted to. Proved to myself that I could do what I've been telling myself. You know, I was talking to somebody, complete stranger actually in Korea. Uh, I did my video in Korea earlier today and a gentleman was sitting across from me and I, I didn't think too much of it. I'll be honest, I didn't think too much of it because uh, I was sitting in a restaurant with majority of Koreans and I didn't think anyone would, you know, pick up exactly everything that I was saying when I was doing my video. But a uh, gentleman, uh, you know, he he completely understood everything that I did, and we started talking about what it was and just the advice that I'm trying to give. And and I know that the advice you know is, is mainly for you out there, the individual viewer, but it's also for me because this is what I'm preaching in one way, and I have to be the individual that also practices what I preach. So with the with the article that I wrote, it was I've been telling myself this. You know, my mindset is now, uh, you know superior to what it was 10 years ago and I do believe that I can do anything that I set my mind to. So I have to be the individual that also practices it. 
And when I wrote that article, that's really what it is. I wanted to prove to myself that I am not only able to do what I say that I'm able to do, but here, here's the, it, I turned the idea into reality overall. So, you know, it was a good conversation that I had with a gentleman about just, you know, overall good advice. And, uh, it, it was it was very interesting, but you know that's why what why I wrote the article and that's why I do a lot of things that I do is because I'm the guy out there I, I'm the one that's preaching you know those those individuals that work with me work around me my employees my employer they know exactly who I am and I'm that guy that's out there that is always saying it and I have to be the one that not only says it but proves it proving it. The action behind it is so much more. You know, you could talk the talk all day long, but guess what? At the end of the day, I know that I get up there, and when when I come up to the bat, I'm not striking out. I know that I'm I'm doing what I say that I'm going to be doing, and doing it in the way that I say that I've one going to do it, and two have done it previously. And I show that to them, you know. And, and with the article that I wrote, I put it up there. But it wasn't all just to say, hey, you know, look what I did. It's to say, hey, look what you can do because I did it. And, you know, for those that are out there, you, you want to write something, you want to do something, by any means you can. And, and don't think that you're not able to do what you want to do in life as soon as you change your mindset and you have the right mentality to do it. So until my next video, I appreciate you watching. Glad to be home. Glad to get back on track. And I really appreciate all of the, you know, love and support that I got over the little vacation and from everyone, my friends, my families, viewers, etc. So until my next video, thanks for watching. Decide and do number 83, Home Sweet Home.